Some positive news for the decades-long dip in revenues for record companies. Streaming services are striking the right note for the bottom line, and the struggling business model is boasting its biggest growth in 23 years. And just let her cry. Not since the days of Hootie and the Blowfish and Boys to Men have recorded music sales seen a 17% growth, which translates to $8.7 billion in 2017. The industry credits the popularity of subscription-based streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music, as well as Internet Radio, which are now responsible for two-thirds of revenue for record companies. Actual CD sales and other physical music products only make up 17% of the revenue for the industry. That number shouldn't be a surprise. We just learned that Taylor Swift's latest, Reputation, is the first album since 2015 to cross the 2 million mark for sales. Ed Sheeran's smash hit, Divide, was the only other album in 2017 to cross the million mark. I have something better. What? Me. It's one of the most bizarre, brutal, and costly kidnapping cases in history, and now the Getty family saga comes to the small screen with big star power in trust. You're saying we do nothing? It's a hoax. I think that if you saw this and it was fictional, you'd say, uh, that could never happen. But it did happen. It's got this extraordinary premise that everybody sort of knows, which is this boy's kidnapped and the family won't pay the ransom even though they're the richest family in the world. You'd think that being rich would be a breeze. We are just like that family, no matter how much money they have. If we care about the same things. We care about our children. We care, you know, if they were to go missing, what would you do? Trust is inspired by the strange story of oil baron John Paul Getty and his grandson's 1973 kidnapping, using as its premise the much-discussed but unproven theory that the teen staged his own abduction in hopes of collecting the ransom. But the plan went awry when his grandfather refused to pay. I will not pay a single solitary cent. 45 years later, there's renewed interest in the Getty family Shakespearean dysfunction. The story was just told on the big screen in All the Money in the World, in which Christopher Plummer plays John Paul Getty Sr. In Trust, that role belongs to Donald Sutherland. I, I love him. I just think he's fantastic. He was tyrannical in a sense in that he had a very specific template within which he lived. He didn't submit... We didn't appear to, to a lot of love. He's born to play this role. It's eerie if you look at the photographs of John Paul Getty and you put it alongside Donald. Eerie indeed. Trust premieres this Sunday on FX. For City News, I'm Terry Hart.